Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to wire up a Fight Smart Wi Fi dimmer in a three way configuration. So, what we're going to do here is install two Smart Fight Wi Fi dimmers, one on each side of the existing three way switch. And that way you're going to be able to control this three-way switch in configuration from your phone with Google and or Alexa. So I picked these up at Costco, but these are also available on Amazon. We'll include a link to we'll include a link below to these. But there are actually two ways that you can wire these up in a three-way configuration. The first option is that if you want to just use one of these fight smart dimmer switches, you can install one of them on one side of the three-way switch and leave your existing three-way switch, your standard one there, and it will still work in a three-way configuration. Now, the only disadvantage of wiring up the fight dimmer switch in this manner is that you'll be able to dim it from your phone or with Alexa voice commands or Google voice commands, but you will not be able to dim it from the second regular switch. So you'll have dimming functionality over here and you can still turn it on and off from the other switch. You just won't be able to dim it. So in this configuration that we're gonna show you today, we're going to install two of these Fight Electric Wi-Fi smart dimmer switches. And that's going to allow you to have dimming control from each side of the three-way switch. So what I've got here to make this process a little bit easier is the existing wiring diagram for our three-way switch. So this is how these existing switches right here are configured. So you can see we've got our hot wire coming into this existing switch right here. And then out of it, we actually have just two travelers from this switch going over to the other switch. And then what we have from that switch is a hot or line switched that goes from the bottom terminal on this three-way switch right here all the way over. And it goes through this junction box, which is this junction box right here, goes up to the light fixture, and then our neutral wire comes back down and goes to our circuit breaker or panel. So this is a very common way that three-way switches are wired. You may have wiring like this, or you may not. However, that's not as important as what we've got here, which is the wiring diagram for how we're going to wire up the two fight electric dimmer switches in a three-way configuration. So what we've got here is you're still gonna have the hot wire come in and it's gonna wire up to the AC load terminal, but then it's gonna go over and that hot wire wires up to the AC load terminal over here. Then you have a traveler wire between the two light switches and that's gonna go from one side to the other. And then you just need to connect the neutral wire in both boxes to a neutral connection for the entire circuit. And then just this singular switch, the one in the main box here, and the load wire, that's going to go up to the light fixture from this light switch, just like it's shown here. And then you're gonna have a neutral wire coming back down from the light fixture, and that's gonna go back to your circuit breaker. So the other option here is if you wanna just use one smart dimmer switch. Now, we're not gonna go through this in this video. However, we're gonna have a link below to another video that shows you how to install this. So if you just wanna use one of these, on one side of the three-way dimmer switch. You can absolutely do that. You just lose functionality of dimming from this second switch. However, then your switches go further. If you've got a lot of three-way switches, you can do twice as many three-way circuits if you only put one of these in on one side of the three-way circuit. So check that out in the description below. So I'm gonna show you this one more time, the wiring diagram, and just take a moment to look at this. And now we're gonna get started installing these Fight three-way smart dimmer switches. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to turn the power off. So you can see that this three-way circuit is working from both light switches. And what we're gonna do is turn the power off of the circuit breaker. So what I like to do for this is I like to turn on the light switch and then I'm gonna go down to the circuit breaker and I'm going to turn it off and I'll know that that circuit breaker has been turned off when the light goes off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. 
All right, we just turned off the light switches at the circuit breaker. You can see that this circuit no longer works. So now we're ready to get started working on these. One thing I always like to do, just as an added measure of precaution, is take a non-contact voltage meter and make sure that there's no power on either one of these. It's just something that you can do to be extra safe, so I do recommend trying that out. Now that we've confirmed the power is off, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the cover plates off of both of these. And I'm going to pull the switches on both of these forward so I can look at the wiring because that's what's going to be important is to be able to have both of these open so that you can inspect the wiring and see how you're going to wire up the new switches. So let's go ahead and take the covers off of both of these. Now that we've got the covers off, we're going to go ahead and check one more time with the non-contact voltage meter. We don't get any reading and we are good to go. So now we're just going to remove both switches from each junction box. Now we've got both switches removed from the junction boxes so we can inspect the wiring. The first thing I recommend that you do is take a picture of the existing wiring in both boxes and on both switches. Now, once again, this is the wiring diagram for how these switches are wired up, which is a very common configuration for residential wiring. However, not everyone's three-way switch will be wired up in this manner, but that doesn't matter. What you need to do here is process where each one of the wires is going within your circuit and figure out how you're going to connect them to get to a wiring diagram that looks like this for the final three-way smart light switch configuration. So it's important to take a moment, look at the wiring you have, inspect it, and then this is what you are trying to end up with in order to get these to work. So the basic concept behind this is that one switch is going to have the hot wire incoming or the line wire, it's going to have a load wire going out. The neutral is connected somewhere in the circuit because this needs a neutral wire to be powered up and connected to Wi-Fi. And then all you've got to the other switch is you're gonna have a hotline that goes to that switch, you're gonna have a traveler wire that goes to that other switch, and then you have a neutral wire connected to that. And that neutral wire is just once again, so this is powered up and it can communicate via Wi-Fi. So you have to have a hot, a traveler, and a neutral wire in there. And then we've got these ground terminals on there. You wanna connect a ground wire if you have them in your existing wiring. We're using plastic residential junction boxes here and we've got ground wires in there. So for most people with a plastic box, you're gonna have a ground wire. But if you have conduit, you won't always have a ground wire inside of the junction box. And that's because in many places, and it differs by municipality, the conduit is actually used as grounding. So just a note there. So now we're going to inspect the wiring on each one of these three-way switches. And I recommend drawing yourself out a wiring diagram so that you understand where everything is going. And we're gonna make sure we take a picture and then we're gonna remove all of that wiring. So on this three-way switch over here, what we've got is we've got our traveler wire here. We've got our ground wire, this copper wire right here. And on this side, what we have is we've got our black wire, our hot wire or line switched is what they would call this one. And this one actually goes all the way from this switch up to the light fixture. Now it passes through this other junction box, but this is the line switched wire that goes up there. Now this other one that we've got, this white wire here, this is not a neutral wire. This is a traveler wire, and that is connected to the other traveler terminal on here on this existing switch here. And you can see that we've got some electrical tape on that white wire to designate that it is a traveler wire. Now, sometimes you'll see that, that the white wire has a little piece of electrical tape to designate that it is a traveler wire, but not always. So on this other switch in the junction box, what we've got here is our traveler wire up top that goes to the white terminal over here. So we've got white terminal here and we've got white terminal here. And then down here, what we've got, 
we've got our hot wire, the incoming power from the circuit breaker. So that's this wire right here. That's coming from the circuit breaker into the junction box. And on the other side, we have our red traveler wire. And that red traveler wire then connects over here to this light switch. And we've got our ground wire in here. So now we're gonna pull this wiring out a little bit more and see what's going on. Now we've got our bundle of incoming hot power and we've got our hot wires right here. That's this wire nut. And that also feeds an outlet that is connected to this same circuit. Over here, we've got our wires and this is that line switched wire. So this actually goes up to this light fixture right here and it comes from this side of the three-way switch over here. So what you're looking at right now with those two wires is you're looking at the wire that goes from here, goes through here, goes into the other junction box, and then it goes up to the light fixture. And then down from that light fixture, there's a neutral wire that just connects to the other bundle of neutral wires down here. So let's go ahead, see if we can go ahead and find those neutral wires and what else is in the box here. So I'm gonna pull up this bundle of ground wires. A lot of times there's a lot of wiring in there and you're gonna need to be able to kind of move it around so that you have access to everything. It's really pretty hard to get some of these smart light switches in small junction boxes. So if you have older junction boxes or you got a lot of wires in there, you could have a challenge or you're gonna be playing the wire origami game to get everything to fit. So this is the bundle of neutral wires that we showed in that wiring diagram. And one of these neutral wires goes down to an outlet that's already connected. And the other one goes to this light fixture here. And then one of the neutral wires goes back to the circuit breaker, which is over here, or the incoming power to the circuit. So now what we're gonna do that we have our wiring figured out is we're going to remove the wiring from this existing switch and we're gonna remove the wiring from the other existing switch. So all we need to do is go ahead and loosen up these screws on the side of this and we're going to then pull those wires out. So remove both of those. We've got our incoming hot wire there and we're gonna remove this traveler wire at the top. So now we've got our traveler wire disconnected and we've got the incoming hot disconnected. All we've got to take out now is our ground wire and the other traveler wire. Now, one thing to note, if you are wondering how all of this stuff works, or maybe you've got more questions on three-way light switch wiring, we do have other videos on that. So go ahead and look at those, or maybe you decide that you're getting into this and you don't wanna do a fight electric smart switch in each box. Maybe it's easier for you to just do one in one side of the three-way switch and just maintain the other switch. Then go ahead, pause right here, look in the description, and we've got videos on three-way switch wiring that kind of explains it in more detail. And we've got a video that shows you how to do it if you're only going to use one fight dimmer, but we're going to use two here. So if that's what you're looking for, keep watching. Now we've got all the wires removed from the other switch. So let's go ahead. We're gonna do the same thing for this one. We're just going to loosen up these terminals and remove the wiring. Now we've just got our traveler wire left over here and our ground wire. Now we've got all the wiring removed and we're ready to start installing our fight three-way smart dimmer switches. On the back of the fight dimmers, what you've got is some labels and lettering here that have different meanings. So down here, this is ACL or this is also what stands for the hot wire. The ACN is the neutral wire or the white wire that's going to go there. And the YLRD terminals over here that is the traveler wire that's gonna go between the two switches. And then up top, what we've got is our load terminal. Then we also have on this side, a ground wire here, that green ground screw. So the load terminal will be utilized on one of these switches, but on the other switch that is the remote switch, which is this one, that load wire terminal is going to go unused. So you can look back to this once again, and you can see this switch, that load terminal won't be used. So all we need to do is we need to connect the traveler wire here, and we'll need to connect the traveler wire there. 
Now the white wire, the neutral wire over here, this was originally a traveler wire, so that's gonna need to be tied in with this bundle of neutral wires over here. So this traveler wire will tie into this. In the last wire, the hot wire, we're going to need to actually locate this. So that's this wire right here, this black wire. And this was previously tied in to the light fixture itself over here. And it's part of these bundle of wires right here. So this will need to come undone. For right now, let's just focus on, we're gonna wire it up over here, and then we're going to sort through the wires over here. We're gonna go ahead and back wire this switch. And you can see there's a strip gauge on the back of here. So you need to make sure that all of your wires are that length for that strip gauge. So we need to strip a little bit more wire on a couple of these. So we're gonna go ahead and strip those wires a little bit so that we can insert them into the back of a switch. The first wire I'm gonna connect is the traveler wire. So it's going to go in the yellow RD terminal over here. Insert the wire and then you're just going to secure with a screwdriver. That traveler wire we installed over here corresponds to the traveler wire over there. So we are all good here. The next wire I'm going to connect is going to be the hot wire. And that's this wire over here. And that's gonna go into this ACL terminal or ACL line terminal. So we're gonna go ahead and secure that. Now we need to take note that this hot wire that we connected was not originally connected to the bundle of hot wires in this junction box. It is currently connected right here. So we need to take these two wires apart right here and we need to identify which wire comes from this junction box in which wire is going up to the light fixture. So we're gonna take these two apart here and then see if I can identify these by the inspection of the box. All right, we've got the two wires apart and this wire right here, you can see comes in the bundle of wires from this box. And we know that because this wiring is a four wire bundle where we have a white wire, a black wire, a red wire, and there's a ground wire back there. So you can see the Romex where it comes in at right here. That's this bundle that comes from here. So this is the new hot wire and we need to attach this to the bundle of incoming power hot wires, which is right here. So what we're gonna do is remove this wire nut here and insert this additional hot wire, and then we're going to connect them. And you can see once again, here is the wiring diagram. This is the wiring that we're about to do. We're about to take the hot wire that's over here, and we're gonna connect it to all the other hot wires that are in this junction box here. And then we're gonna have one wire that goes from that bundle to the other switch. So let's go ahead and make this connection now right here with this hot wire so that everything is tied in. We're going to remove this wire nut here and we're going to add this wire to that bundle. Then we're going to reinstall the wire nut. Now we're going to install our neutral wire for this switch. So you can see on the back here, it says AC neutral or AC power neutral. That is what that ACN stands for. We're gonna go ahead and just insert this into the back and then we're going to secure. So get it in there and now we're gonna secure this light switch terminal on here. Now, once again, this white wire, just like the hot wire we just connected, was not connected over in this box as part of the neutral bundle. You can see it's this white wire here. And we've got a bundle of neutral wires right here. We need to connect this neutral wire here that's connected to this switch to this bundle of neutral wires down here and make sure that we identify the proper wire and its routing. So we wanna identify this bundle of wires from this box and where it comes into this box, which we've already previously done. And then we're going to wire it up just like it shows here. We're gonna take that neutral wire and we're gonna wire it together with the bundle of wires over here. 
Now, something else to note is that this light switch will require a neutral wire that goes from this bundle to the switch itself because that neutral wire is required to power up the feet dimmer. So while we're going to take this wire and wonder, wire it to this bundle of neutral wires over here, we're also going to add a small neutral wire as well so that we can provide that neutral wire to the switch that's gonna go in this junction box here. So what I'm gonna do is unwire this, wire up this wire to this bundle and insert this wire that's going to eventually go to the switch that's going to go in this box here. So we've got our neutral wire from the other switch here. Now let's add the extra neutral wire that we're going to connect to the new switch in here. And then let's get our wire nut on there and secure. Now, I do like these style wire nuts with the wing tips on them just because it allows you to get a little bit extra leverage in there and get these really tight. So let's make sure we get them in there. Now, the one disadvantage to them is that they do take up a little bit more room. And when you've got a lot of electrical wiring in there, like we've got here, sometimes that can become a headache. All right, now what we're gonna do is install the ground wire into the ground wire terminal over here. And then we're gonna be done with this other switch. So take the ground wire, the unshielded copper wire, insert it, and then we're going to go ahead and secure. All right, now this switch has been completely wired up. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave it out of the box for now, but just kind of push it back in. And the reason that we're not going to completely secure this switch yet is that we kind of want to leave it so that we can double check our wiring when we get everything done at the end here. So now we're going to start attacking this switch over here and get the other smart dimmer installed. Here's our wiring diagram once again. So we need to identify the load wire. We need to identify the traveler wire. We need to identify the hot wire and we need to identify the neutral wire. So when we go to this box, we can go ahead and do that. We know this is the hot wire. This is the incoming power coming from the circuit breaker down here, and it's all in this bundle right here. This wire up top, this is our load wire. That is the wire that goes to our light fixture right here. So it goes out this set of Romex wires here, and this red wire is our traveler wire. The last wire we've got is our neutral wire, and we have tied that into all the other wires here. So the important step that you need to remember is that you need to tie in the proper hot wires over here like we showed from this switch, and then tie in that extra neutral wire over here, as well as tie in the neutral wire from this switch into this bundle of neutral wires over here as well. And then we've got our ground wire right here. So now that we've identified all those wires, we're ready to go ahead and install this switch. Make sure that we've got it right side up and let's just go ahead. We're gonna install the first one, the traveler wire. That's easy to identify here. That's this red wire. So let's go ahead and get that installed. We've got the traveler wire installed, so let's go ahead and let's get a couple of these other wires installed. We've got our ACL or AC load or hot terminal, so let's go ahead, take the hot wire we identified from this bundle and we're going to secure it in the back of this switch. Now let's take our neutral wire and we're going to connect it to the ACN or AC neutral wire terminal here. So let's go ahead, insert that Make sure we get it all the way in and then secure. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna take our ground wire here and insert it into the ground terminal up at the top and then secure. Now all we've got left is our load wire. That's the wire that goes from the switch up to the light fixture. So we're gonna take that load wire and we're gonna insert it into the load terminal over here on the back of the light switch. So let's go ahead, we're gonna get that in place, install it. So let's go ahead, we're gonna get this into place and then we're gonna install it in the switch. Take the load wire and insert it into the load terminal. Then we're gonna go ahead and secure it. Now we've officially got everything wired up. So what I recommend is that you go ahead and you check your wiring 
Make sure that you've got everything properly inserted. Make sure that you're able to identify the wires on this wiring diagram and that everything makes sense here. Once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and reinstall each fight dimmer switch into the junction box. So you're gonna have a lot of wires in both of these, so you might take a moment to do some wire origami to fold these. So go ahead, take your time, fold the wires in place, and then reinstall each one of these. Now we've got this light switch ready to be secured and installed to the junction box. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the other switch and secure it to the junction box. Now let's go ahead and reinstall both cover plates. All right, now we have both Fight Smart Dimmers installed in a three-way configuration. So we're ready to go turn the power back on at the circuit breaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, we just restored the power and you can see that these are lighting up right here. And if I touch that, that one will turn on. And if I touch this one, it will turn on as well. So now our wiring portion of the installation is complete, but we've got to connect these to the app. So we're going to show you how to do that. Now, sometimes there are light bulbs that are incompatible with this setup. So that's just something to note. Or sometimes it'll flash during the setup process and then you need to adjust it in the app exactly how high and low those dimming ranges can go. So let's go ahead and get the Fight Smart Switches set up on the app. In order to complete the setup, you're going to need to add your Fight Electric Smart Dimmer Switches to your phone. And you do that through the Fight app, F-E-I-T. It's available both on iOS and Android. You set up a username and password and then just log into the app. So we've already done that. Now, in order to get these set up, the lights are gonna need to be flashing on the devices. So you only have about a five minute window where these are flashing. So if they're not flashing anymore when you're trying to get them set up, the recommendation I have for you is to go down to your circuit breaker, flip that circuit breaker on and off real quick, and that will throw them back into setup mode. So all you have to do is flip the circuit breaker on and off, it cuts the power off, and then when they come back on, they're automatically in setup mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, so you can see flipping the power on and off, put these both into setup mode, so we're ready to get them installed on the app. So what we're gonna do is click in the upper right-hand corner here, and we're gonna click on lighting then over on this side, and we're gonna click on lighting device. We've got this ready, it says it is blinking, so now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna click confirm here, and we're gonna try and get these to connect. Now we need to enter our password. Now it's attempting to connect to the device. All right, now both of our devices added to the app. I'm gonna go ahead and click done here, but you can connect these to Echo or Google Home. So you can use them with Alexa or Google Home voice commands. We've got another video that shows you how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and click done here, and then let's go ahead and test them out. So. We've got just dimmer switch here. I can turn it on and off from the app. I can also turn it on from over here or I can turn it on or off from over here. So let's turn it on over there and turn it off over here. Now the camera, you know, it has a little bit of problem with all that light, but you can see now we can control either one of these switches and we can control the dimming levels from both sides. So let's put it way up there and then I can just tap down low here and I can adjust that dimming level. And if I wanna go back up, I could do it on the other switch. And you can see that these will both do that in unison. There's a little light here that will indicate the current dimming level for either one of these. Let's go ahead and turn them off here. So thank you for watching this video on how to install Fight Electric Smart Dimmers in a three-way configuration with two Fight Electric Smart Dimmers. We've got the other video that shows you how to do this with one Fight Electric Dimmer on the side of the three-way switch and a regular switch on the other side of the three-way switch. So if you wanna make these last a little bit longer or go a little bit further in your house, you could do that option where you've got a smart dimmer on one side and a regular switch on the other side. But the advantage of this configuration is that you're gonna be able to have dimming from both ends of the light switch. So thanks again. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe. And if you wanna support us, click any of the links below. Thank you.